Welcome, welcome to the Bella Blog. I'm so glad you guys could join in. I wanted to talk about shadow people and nursing homes. And I think we have a lot of nurses out there that have to deal with this in nursing homes or in hospitals. And the church doesn't talk about this kind of stuff. So they really don't have any place to go to get information regarding this particular issue. And it can be a big dilemma. It's a spiritual, supernatural type of thing that is going on here. I have, I don't know, a lot of, um, you know, from my previous experiences, um, I was in the fire department. And a lot of times when I was taking, you know, things were going on inside the ambulance when we were rushing them up to the hospital. And, you know, patients were dying in my hands, you know, and I was trying to revive them with a precardial thump or something. But it was very highly charged. And a lot of times there was spiritual things going on in the ambulance. And this is what really uh, brought me into this particular subject, okay? Uh, I remember many times when we were taking patients to the hospital because we lived, I, I worked in a community which was a mountain community. And the... The closest, there was two hospitals. One in one direction was an hour and a half to get there through windy roads. The other side of the other mountain, side of the mountain was an hour, but it was also windy roads. So it just depended on the patient, which we wanted to go. So a lot of times we saw these shadows and these really bizarre things that would affect us in the ambulance or you know the electricity I, mean, I could tell you guys stories you guys saints beloved i mean i don't know if you're in this field and i'm sure there's some out there that can totally relate maybe you're not in this field but you've seen these like shadow it's like a you'll be in a room and you'll see the shadow walking and it'll walk through the door walk through the wall and it's just like moving around in these rooms this is what I'm talking about, you guys. Okay? This is the type of stuff that I'm talking about. Um, first off, these are demonic beings that you're seeing. And I sometimes think that a lot of times, depending on the situation, you could be dealing with the spirit of death. Okay? You know, when they come, you know, because a lot of times when you're working in nursing homes, you'll see like... Uh, you, you'll see this black thing hunching over people. I know that happened to me um, when I went to a, a memorial at a home. I was uh, really upset at this uh, home memorial and because um, the person died in that house. And I don't know if it was just the spirit of death or there was a demonic being that was in the house, but... Um, Sometimes I think it's it could be the spirit of death. It's just discernment, you guys. Um, it was really scary because uh, in this particular uh, case that I'm talking about, it was just hunching over and looking at us, and um, it just and it made the floor creak right next to me, and I felt the weight of it when it was next to me because the floor when this thing arrived and it was standing next to me because the floor creaked because I was I was sit there and crying and I had my eyes closed and then I thought somebody came in the room and was step you know standing next to me and that's when I felt the floor creak and it was right next to my foot and then I could feel the floor go down like there was a person a person standing right next to me and when I opened my eyes to look, there was this huge black thing. It looked like some type of fallen angel, that it was all black. And it must have been about eight or nine feet tall, uh, hovering over me. It was terrifying. Um, I wasn't a Christian at the time when that had happened to me. So I just ran out of the room because I thought it was going to like try to hurt me. I had felt this uh, very bad feeling that overwhelmed me and the hairs on my back just stood up. So it was pretty scary, you guys. Um, you know, just a footnote. As far as hospitals, it's easy to rationalize why they are magnets for spirit, okay? 
People in hospitals are often nervous and frightened due to their illnesses when they get there or some kind of traumatic event. You know, you know what I mean, where I'm heading with this? And this creates a lot of energy and um, parasitic entities might use and feed. Because, you know, I always tell you guys, don't feed spirits with... Because they feed off your emotions and everything. And that's when these these things are around. I notice that there's a pattern. When you're highly charged emotionally, then these things will come. It's like ringing the doorbell. I'm not kidding. These black entities will come near you and try to feed off of you. Um, just use discernment. Uh, as far as people bring their own demons to hospitals or anywhere they arrive if they're in long-term facilities and nursing homes remember people bring their own demons to hospitals nursing homes and whatever and when they are ill these spirits exacerbate the illness and if they have no cause it to begin with okay so many t different times of people have been in hospitals from, you know, women, young addicts, violent criminals, or, you know, those into witchcraft, they bring dynamite, okay? That's the best way I can describe it. Um, and a lot of times when they die, these demonic spirits that were on them dwell in dry places. So they'll be hovering around these hospitals. That's my personal experience, okay? Because walking through the hospitals, that's my discernment, um, just experiences that I've gone through myself uh if you follow my channel you probably heard some of the stories um many people die in the hospitals or nursing homes that's why I always say don't ever buy uh when you go to a thrift store or auction for furniture don't ever buy used beds or headboards because especially from hospitals because a lot of times they sell these in these big auctions and then people bring them home and they end up, you know, these spirits got they attached to these headboards because that's where the person died. And um, nurses have a really hard time. I mean, they have to be careful because they're front line if these demonic spirits that are, you know, when their patient died and they have demonic spirits and they come up and they can come on into them and attach to them depending how um, they are spiritually um, if they're strong enough spiritually, if they're saved, I mean, this is bad, you know, bad. If they're not, they, they don't, they're not saved. They don't believe in Jesus Christ, don't have a relationship because what they'll end up doing is just bringing that demonic spirit that attached to them home with them and, and it can affect their whole household. And seriously, that's, it, it could just go downhill really quick. That's how fast these things work because the Bible tells us. You know, still kill and destroy. And that's ultimately what these demonic spirits do. Okay. So I just wanted to uh, do a quick brief rundown through that. And um, because I had a person who was a nurse write me. And she said, I work in a large nursing home. And tonight while most of my patients were in the dining room eating dinner, one of my nursing assistants came up to me and told me that as she was walking down the hall, she looked in one of my residents' room and saw that the look like a pitch black shadow walk through the room from one wall to the next, and then it disappeared. And, and it said, I immediately jumped up and ran to the room. She followed me and shut the door behind us. And as I began pleading the blood and rebuking the thing in Jesus' name, she told me afterwards that she felt that it was still in the room and when we arrived and she felt it leave the room when I started rebuking it. So that's the best thing for you to be doing is binding, rebuking these strawmans before they spoil the house. Now, as far as uh, like nursing homes and stuff like that, what I would do is um, use anointing oil, bless, you know, a pray over it and, and bless, ask Jesus to bless it. And create barriers with it, okay? Hedges protection. Because the Bible tells us that we can ask and we shall receive. So that means ask for hedges of protection, okay? Ask for angels to be assigned to you. Um, put barriers all around and ask Jesus to protect them. And put angels in those posts as you go and to bless the hospital. You can. Those are the things that you can do, okay? 
So I hope this helps. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Bye.